This is the case of Diamond versus Chakraborty. The plaintiff, Lucy Diamond, claims that one cannot patent any life form. The defendant, Ananda Chakraborty, claims that he can patent life forms that he created. And now for the case of the unlicensed god. As this court is now in session, the Honorable Anuwana Gosh presiding. May be seated. Now I will hear the case of Diamond versus Chakravarti. Are the plaintiff and defendant ready and present? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. May I hear the plaintiff's arguments, please? Good afternoon, Your Honor. My name is Lucy Diamond. What Mr. Chakravarti has supposedly created is something that occurs naturally. The DNA and the bacteria existed long before he came along, and now he attempts to play God? No, it is wrong. The patent laws state specifically that you cannot patent something that is already in existence. Therefore, I urge this court not to allow Mr. Chakur Borti to patent this bacteria. Thank you. May I hear the defendant's arguments, please? Good afternoon. My name is Anand Chakravarti, and I'm here to present my claim to this magnificent courtroom. First of all, I'd like to provide the court with little background knowledge concerning why I invented my bacteria. The oil industry needed a device to clean up oil spills in our oceans, and I set out just to do that. So therefore, I immediately went on to research and scientific investigation and obtained one bacterium from nature. From this bacterium, I removed its DNA, altered and gave it specific modifications, I untwined the double helix, put it back together, and inserted more cytosines and guanines in order to break down crude oil. The DNA does not exist in nature. It exists as a result of my alterations. And there, after I replicated the DNA, I inserted it back into the bacterium, and I mass produced the bacterium in order to be available for the oil industry. This way, it would break down crude oil much faster and aid our community. And finally, and Finally, I'm sorry, excuse me, Your Honor. On the count of what my plaintiffs have said, I am not playing God. I am not imitating nature. I am an inventor. These modifications of my microorganism does not exist in nature. It exists because of my genius, my intelligence, my years of research. And I urge the court under Article I, Section 8, Clause 8 of our Constitution to grant me a patent as an inventor. Thank you. Thank you both. Now I'll take a short recess to make my final decision. All rise. How will the judge rule in this case? Will she rule for Mr. Chakrabarti and his bacteria, or for Ms. Diamond and her idea of Mr. Chakrabarti's playing God? Stay tuned and find out as Copyright Court continues after this public service announcement. Where did you get this equipment? Where did you learn how to do this? Who taught you how to copy tapes? You did, all right. I learned it from watching you. All right. Thank you. Be seated. Now, granted that most forms of bacteria do occur naturally, once they are changed or replicated in any sort of way to create a new bacteria, Article 1, Section 8 can be applied, in, as in this case. Mr. Chokravorty, I feel, has created his own invention, and therefore I will grant him a patent. As far as his playing God is concerned, I believe it's a far-fetched concept and is completely irrelevant. I feel that his new invention or bacteria is accredited to modern technology. Thank you. Court is adjourned. All rise. We've heard the judge's decision. She has ruled against Ms. Du Lucy Diamond and for Mr. Chakraborty. Now we will talk to the parties in the case, starting with Ms. Lucy Diamond, the plaintiff. And here she comes now. Ms. Diamond, the judge has ruled against you. She called your idea 
far-fetched, and irrelevant. What do you think? I think she's wrong. I think she should have her head examined. I see. Thank you very much. And now, we shall hear from Mr. Chakraborty. Mr. Chakraborty? The judge has ruled for you. It's going to allow you to reproduce your bacteria. Now, Mr. Chakraborty, how long have you been working on this bacteria? Oh, I've been working on this bacteria for about 10 years. I see. So you must be very happy that she ruled for you? Oh, very happy. Thank you very much. Thank you for using okay, copyright. Okay, thank you very much. And this brings this case to a wrap. This also brings to a wrap this session of the Copyright Court. This is Steve Dallas reminding you that whenever anyone accuses you of something, the best policy is to take them to court.